little siblings and welcome back to my channel if you're new make sure to smash that subscribe button as you can see by this title it is another back to school vlog i like i said i'm not going back to school but i do want to go back to school shopping because this is a really good time just like when seasons are transitioning and sometimes there's good sales and all that good stuff but i'm trying to save money so today i'm going to be back to school shopping on a budget which means we're going to be hitting like goodwill maybe walmart i don't really know what we have in store today let's just get started also to help with the budget aspect of this i just went through all of my clothes got rid of everything that doesn't fit or I don't like anymore and I'm gonna go take it to Plato's Closet and hopefully they'll buy like at least one thing you never know with them what you're gonna get Dallin's wearing my merch so I have to avoid putting his back in it because that's where the symbol is on this one but Dallin has a Facebook marketplace deal going down right now so we're gonna go into Walmart and I may as well look at clothes cheap clothes while we're here so let's go also for back to school shopping you can shop my merch at the end of the month it'll be launching I'm so excited we're working on some finishing touches for it right now Time to shop! This is like the worst time to do this video because I'm so sore from late day on Monday. Like, okay, like this shirt is so cute. I would wear it and it's literally six dollars. Sydney, this is us right now. Literally. You trying to hobble. We cannot walk. It's 92 degrees out today. It's uh. not the best day to be shopping because I get tired from shopping and the sun makes me tired and the heat makes me tired. But we're here and we're doing it and I'm excited. Also, I wore eyeliner today. That's that's new for me. She looks so good. Yeah. Next up, we're headed into Goodwill. There is something about it, isn't there? are done so we're gonna go pick them up and hopefully I made like a dollar or something. I actually ended up getting $54 which is so nice I didn't think I was actually gonna get that much but you know back to school they probably are buying all the good stuff and I just got rid of a lot of new stuff so makes sense but I didn't think I was gonna shop at Play-Doh's well they had some good stuff so I had to. Now we're gonna go home we actually just stopped at Home Depot too and I got like pots new pots for my plants because right now they're just in the plastic like growing pots that they came in and I have yet to buy some nice cute little like pottery pots for them. Finally did that now we can head home I'll do a little try on haul and show you guys my pots and plants. So while doing this like cheap shopping, I realized that finding shirts for cheap is really easy. Finding pants is so hard, especially because I'm so particular about like my pants being comfy, they need to fit perfect. Plus pants, you don't really own as much of as you do with shirts. But whenever I am shopping for pants, I am willing to spend more money because I will keep that pair of jeans or jean shorts for the next like three to five years. I'm gonna throw it out there that I did not get any pants. I'm back home now and I'm just gonna do a quick little try on haul of all of the stuff I got, talk about how much I spent and how I got all of these clothes. I got so many at such a low price. Lighting's not the greatest, but I'm too lazy. At Goodwill, I spent $18 and I got five items of clothing. At Walmart, I spent $26.11 and I got three shirts. Dawn's helping with my lighting because I'm lazy. And then at Plato's Closet, I spent $43.24 and I got, I think, six items of clothing. In total, that is $87.35. But since I took all my clothes to Plato's, they gave me $54. So in total, I actually spent $33.35. So if you're balling on a budget like me, trying to save money, then definitely check out like Marshall's, Goodwill, TJ Maxx, uh, Plato's Closet. If you don't have a Plato's Closet or you don't know what it is, it's like a second-hand store and you can sell your clothes to them. Here we go, try on haul. Starting with Walmart, because that's the first place we went. So I actually got three of the same shirts. So it's just this shirt. It's like a really nice texture, it's tight fitting. It's like the perfect amount of v-neck with three cute little buttons. And I got it in this orangey color, a green, and a cream. Next up, we have Goodwill. The only bad thing about this is it takes so long, like at Plato's Closet and Goodwill, because you have to go through so many clothes. But then you find that one item you really love and it's the best thing ever. I got this cropped Polaroid shirt and I can tell that someone cropped it themselves, but I was gonna crop it anyway if someone else did it, so it's perfect. 
I don't know if these are still like super in style, but I like it, so I got it. It was only like $4, so who cares? Also, another tip when you're shopping at Goodwill, some of the things so, like this has like a green tag on it, and there's signs on the store that tell you what's on sale. So everything with a green tag was 50% off. So this shirt was only $2, but we'll get to that. This is a Beatles shirt. No, I don't frequently listen to the Beatles, so I'm being that basic girl who wears a shirt that she doesn't listen to the band. But you know, I know enough Beatles songs and I respect them to wear their shirt. Plus, this is like the perfect rustic tea vibe. So I can tuck it in with some jeans, maybe crop it, whatever I'm feeling. This banana shirt, I kind of just got for fun. I mean, I will probably wear it like once, maybe for a photo shoot. I used to be into shirts like this when I was like 16, but I just thought it was cute and funny, so I may as well wear it once. Well, that sounds so weird to say when I was 16. You're 18. I'm 18. What the heck? I'm you're still like 16. In six months, you're about to be 19. Don't tell me that. I got this shirt, which might look super basic, but you know, we always love basics. I don't own a shirt this color. That's just a nice basic shirt. But then I put it on, and it is so comfortable and so soft. I am so glad I got it. And once again, only $4. This is so comfortable i was debating it but then when i saw it was on sale i was like i may as well it's only two dollars but like this will be so good for fall and winter to just snuggle up in with some leggings or just some shorts oh my gosh i can't wait it's so comfortable next up we have the store playlist closet where you can buy and sell things yeah i said that right <laughs> i don't know i was so confused so i got this i thought it was going to be like a big t-shirt vibe but it's actually a little bit tighter than i would have wanted but it's still really cool it's really unique this is actually like sticking out so it's like sewed onto there and it's like rubber it feels like it'd be on like a car tire or something and then it's got all these really cool emblems on the side of just some flags around the world which i thought was really cool i don't know what this symbol is i hope it's not the illuminati but it's on all the flags hopefully that's not disrespectful but you know um here we are it's cool and i'm gonna wear it Next up, I got this just like striped little shirt. Um, it's just a basic, nice to throw on with some jeans or shorts. It's a little wide, which is kind of weird, but it's fine. It's really comfortable, it's cute, it's basic. We love. This shirt I was actually so excited about. I was about to give up in the aisle that I found it in, but then I ran across it and it gave me motivation again. But it's just a checkered little shirt. I feel like you'd get this at like Zoomies or somewhere like that, maybe Tilly's. But it's just like skater girl vibes, and I am definitely your classic skater girl plus it's really soft and comfy so very excited about that this shirt i was a little iffy about because it's not really something i could see myself buying but since it was super cheap only eight dollars i was like you know i'll give it a chance and it's really soft i put it on i actually really like it it'd be really great with some high-waisted black jeans or something like that so excited to wear this when it cools off a little bit and i got two really cute dresses from play-dohs i actually love getting dresses from play-dohs closet don't know why i mean i guess they're cheap and so much variety to choose from this one is just a plain black dress i don't own just like a classic plain black dress so i knew i needed it when i saw it and it's hard to find one you actually like this one fits me perfectly and it's really soft and comfortable the sleeves are a little bit like flowy which i did not expect i thought they'd be tight and i love that and then it's got just a nice little simple tie so now i can wear this to church and wherever else i feel the need to wear it Okay, this is a dress. I literally couldn't figure out how to tie it. I probably should have paid attention before I untied it. But the reason I can't figure it out is because it's supposed to be like a cross tie thing. But both the ties, like once you start tying it, there's nowhere to connect them. So I'm just so confused. I don't know if anyone like has any tips for that, let me know. I mean, it was only $7. So if I never end up wearing it, then whatever. Maybe I'll wear it as like a cardigan. I thought this would be such a cute dress and I'm mad that I can't figure out how to wear it. So hopefully one day I'll put enough effort in to figure that out. And that is it for my back to school haul. When you're on a budget, so you can get for technically $33. Like I said, I think the best way to go back to school shopping is to sell some of your clothes. So whether you're using like Depop, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, sell your clothes, take them to a store that buy them, and then you can buy new clothes with that money. Then you're saving money and you're cleaning out your closet. We love that. That is pretty much all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and comment down below when you're going back to school or grade you're going into. Let's have a little conversation. Excited to talk to you guys in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. That would mean the world to me. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, also, here's all my plants in their little pots. I know some of them are kind of dying because I kind of flapped at the beginning, but this one is actually on its way back to life. So my cat ate that one and that one, but hopefully they'll come back to life as well.